I am back. Ah, it's been a long time and I kind of left off with, I think, leaving and I kept saying that I was going to make another, like, two more videos. One of them is halfway edited, which I'll eventually get to it after this trip, which is the Iceland treats, like everything that I tasted, which I would do the same thing with this trip, which by the way, we're going out on a trip. Okay, um, I'm super excited. I have a mess in my room, like I always do whenever I travel. Um, so yeah. Couple of things. I do want to mix this video with introducing my new um, trip and also at the same time finish what I didn't say before about Iceland. So Iceland was about, that was in March and we are now in, in December. Today is New Year's Eve. Um, and for my new trip, I live, I leave on December the 26th. So. First off, first most, Iceland. So Iceland was super fun, like I said. Um, we, it was a full week. We arrived there Monday, Monday morning, I think. Monday night or Tuesday morning, can't remember. Um, probably should go back and watch my videos. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we arrived there and one of the things that I didn't notice about Iceland is that I really highly recommend that you prepare for weather because it's random. So some days there was within the same day we had hail, rain, and a snowstorm. Like within the same day, like I would say an hour and a half or two hours and a half within out of each other's um, time. So I would really recommend that you bring what we called... I don't have them around me, but it's like the hot pockets stuff. Um, I really do recommend that. I recommend that you bring a really good heavy coat, something that can keep you warm. Also, because of the fact, sorry, I'm moving around. Because of the fact that, um, so you're going to go to the waterfalls. Highly, highly recommend that you are prepared for that. Maybe buy something like I, I bought a, um, I don't, um, if you see my videos, I bought like a, like a gray, um, water, I think they're called like water jackets and water pants. Um, and yeah, so I bought that and it was perfect. The problem was, is that I was soaked because we went inside a waterfall. Like we went into a cave and we walked through. So I would really recommend like suiting up yourself for getting wet and getting wet in cold so that means like have an extra backpack that's another thing i recommend i i was very glad that i brought myself this backpack with me um i had pretty much everything and anything inside of it um and for the most part it was really a uh, really reliable i got this through amazon um i had put my computer in here I never use my computer, <laughs> so <laughs> unless you're doing homework or anything like that, that's what I really thought that I was going to do during that time, but I did it, so yeah, um, there's that, um, so water bottle is good, they have really good water over there, like you can just drink from the tap water because it's so natural, so I really recommend that you get yourself a water bottle, um, I already mentioned the hot pot, like the hot, the heating pads, which are these things. Uh, the hand warmers, that's what they're called. The hand warmers. So they're these things. Um, really recommend that you get yourself a pack. Really recommend it. Um, big coat, underlayers. Okay, so I went a little bit extra on my underwears. Um, under warmer or thermal or whatever you want to call them. I went a little bit extra. Um, and so I really do think that you can just go with one layer of clothing and you'll be fine. Like when I'm, uh, uh, okay. So here's what I'm meaning. Like having thermal on the bottom and then having a long sleeve on top. So like normal clothing, 
um, just because it is what we say like between 40 and 50 around that time in March. So it wasn't really that cold. Um, I get cold very easily. So there were times where the weather would go down very like instantly and I was very glad, but there were other times where the weather would go up and I was just like, oh, like this is too much I'm wearing. So I really recommend that you wear something underneath that is thermal, just one layer underneath and then like uh, uh, over the top, like your regular clothes. Um, what else? Boots, really good boots and not just hiking boots, but making sure that the boots are like water resistant or water proof, I guess it's what they're called. Like that the water doesn't get inside your shoe <laughs> because I had wore that day when we went to the cave with the waterfalls, I had wore that day the wrong pairs of boots. Um, instead of wearing my wet, um, my wet, boots which are the ones that I use for like when it's raining outside and stuff like that I ended up or when I'm about to go inside a lake or something or I'm jumping around whatever um I had wear my regular boots my hiking boots the ones that are like snow resistant slipper resistant but not so much water resistant or waterproof as you might say so like my whole foot foot when I came out of it um it was wet. So those are my recommendations from Iceland. Um, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Don't overpack. It's just five days, seven, six days in total, five days. Don't overpack. I will recommend though um, that you bring just one pair of clothing for, like if you're going to prepare yourself, because this is what, what I did. I overpacked, which was good and bad in, in a sense because we had to move around with our luggage. So I would just really recommend that you don't overpack, but I would also recommend that you bring one extra pair of clothing for, actually two, for um, the opening dinner and the closing dinner. Um, I had it, but there were some people in my group that didn't have it. And so they were kind of looking like me, um, but that's just, you know, how things work and how everything worked I don't know like man I mean like jeans and sweat pants and shirts so up to you I am a, like if you know who I am <laughs> I love wearing dresses when I go through to things like that so I like to dress up a little bit more than I normally do um so that's why I say they're meh because if we're all kind of getting dressed up and I mean the majority of us were dressed up but besides that, I think everything else was pretty awesome, pretty cool. I hang around with pretty cool girls. Um, shout out to them. What's up? Um, Y'all know who you are. I can't list you all at the top of my head right now. Um, and yeah, so that was my Iceland trip. <laughs> okay, so something that you guys don't know about, um, just the in parentheses here. Um, I have my friend Marissa who is editing this type of videos because she has nothing to do with what she told me um, until January 2nd. So I will be sending these videos um, to her so she can edit it. With that being said, um, because I have an editor and I don't do very well with editing. Um, <laughs> um, thank you, Marissa. And I would love for any of y'all who is watching this to go follow her. Um, make sure Marissa Madness or whatever it is that she puts it on. I don't know where, but just like Marissa Madness, go follow her. She has a YouTube channel. Um, I don't know if she's doing anything new, but I think she will. She always does, usually towards the end of the year or a new year comes in. Um, we have another trip together. So that one's going to be a little bit tricky because it, there could be a chance that I might not record at all for that trip just because she will probably have the recording in her channel so <laughs> i might record a little bit here and there but probably might do one video in regards to that trip i won't do every day and with this trip as well i won't do every day just kind of get like the overall essence and what we did what we didn't do um 
yeah like what I got to do what I didn't get to do and etc and like kind of like journaling kind of like the, um keeping up logging not every single thing but just primarily like the morning the afternoon what I did and a little bit of throughout the day of what we've done um so yeah so that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing on this trip just a heads up on that and now let's get on with um on this trip so with that being said guess where I'm going I'm going to London Scotland and Ireland Woo! I'm super excited um it is my first time going to London it would be 17 days so I leave on the 26th um which I will be recording that day um I won't be recording much tomorrow tomorrow it's Christmas so usually during Christmas as a Hispanic person um weekly <laughs> so at least that's what we used to do in my, in my house so with that being said um I'm gonna be cleaning tomorrow and I'm going to be packing anything that is left tonight so the next clip would probably be me trying to decide what I'm gonna do just like in a faster pace and going from there just so that I can have a little bit of that. Um, I do have a big mess in my room. Um, just a heads up on that. I am, like I said, tomorrow is cleaning day. Um, I'm also on my way to move. So get like, if you see boxes around my move, uh, around my room, or if you see like stuff stack up, I have a lot of books. I collect books. Um, I love reading. And so this time around, I'm taking a book with me, but I won't be one of the ones that I wanted to take with me. Um, and so this time around, I think I'm taking, um, it is called a, well, it's in there somewhere. And it is called like how to get well with your money. I've been, there's a bucket list that I have for next year. And one of them is to learn how to be financial. I was never really taught how to manage my money. And so I really want to teach myself that so I can be an overall financial person. <laughs> Anyways, uh, with that being said, I'm going to start um, packing and just kind of deciding what's going to go down, what's not going to go down. So you're going to see an even bigger mess than this. So, or if you can't even see a mess then because I don't think you can <laughs> um, but if you really want to see what's going on um that is my laundry those are my bags and then that's the box that I was telling you about and then you have this which is my um I forget what they're called the the stuff for for like body care and stuff like that etc so yeah i'm not ashamed of anything i'm not really the type to be ashamed of stuff or showing things so just a heads up on that <laughs> i'm very like free <laughs> like mm, okay like if you're you you're ashamed of it you're ashamed of it i'm not that that way so um yeah so let's start i'll see you then <laughs> Okay, so I did want to provide a update because I did finish this bag. Um, but with this one, I kind of realized that I forgot to put my PJs in here. So I might just take something out and then replace it with my PJs and we'll go from there. Um, this bag is soon to be done. Maybe, I don't know what I'm going to do here. But pretty much this is going there. Some of that stuff is going there. I'm definitely not taking this book bag. I decided to go as light as I possibly can, but I will take my umbrella. I will say that I will take my umbrella. I'll figure out how to deal with this small bag with me when I'm around and about. Um, I got it in Amazon um, this time around. I know it's gonna be 17 days, um, but I'm almost done with everything. Um, and I don't want to be carrying too much with me, especially since I'm going to be moving around a lot. So yeah, that's an update for now. I'll show you later what's going to happen. Bye.
everyone. I have officially finished packing. Um, pretty much, I try to think about 17 days in my mind, and I think I accomplished it for the most part. If not, I have maybe a couple of more things. I'm officially done. I'm not adding any more. Even in this space area that is empty, I'm going to leave it empty um, just because I might be bringing stuff back and I want to have space for it. So hopefully my clothes won't, um, you know, wait too much. And I only have one extra pair of shoes um, that I'm taking with me. Actually two because, of course, my... Um, my shoes that I would be wearing for New Year's Eve plus the stuff. So I'm making sure that this stuff stays with me <laughs> with this. So this is practically what I'm taking. And yeah. With that to say, thank you for watching my whole mess. Um, I still got to clean up my room and I'm just making sure that everything now my closet will be clean by tomorrow. My bathroom will be clean by tomorrow. My room will be clean by tomorrow. So like, even the box that you saw in the corner will be gone by tomorrow. Um, so yeah, everything's going to be up and pitchy and snatchy and I am all set. So I'll see you guys um, on the 26th. Today's the 24th, so on the 26th. Also, I forgot to mention I do come back on January 11th. Um, but we'll go along the way and I'll tell you the rest of what happened. So remember, London, Scotland, Ireland. Ooh, bye.